Mike Sempervivi here with you for the next hour talking professional wrestling, which is something we do every single day here on this program. What kind of mustache did Vince McMahon have? Well, goddamn! You had questions about my mustache, you just had to ask! My God, Vince, is that you? Hell yeah, it's me. What are you doing to my chair, kid? Yeah, yeah no, listen, that's... I'm here, everybody, for a moment. You are. Because I know the only thing that anybody cares about is this stupid mustache story. I get a text. He's back, LOL. First, I was told he was snuck into the building. I started getting messages. Dude, he's got a mustache. You ever seen uh, uh, Gomez Adams from the Adams Family? That's what his mustache looked like. And he also had jet black hair. <laughs> I got a sale to facilitate, so I'm out of here. Mike, you and Tom, you're on your own the rest of the show. Boss man, you're fired. Shave that thing. Oh my God. Wrestling Observer Live. What the fuck happened to my head? Watch it. Dude, this day. Yeah. I went to Rite Aid. Oh, no. And uh, they had... I don't know that I think it was by L'Oreal or something like just, that. Just for men. This right. is apparently not to be used to color all of your hair black. Uh huh. So I got home and I just I just start spraying. I start running the water through my hair, and like I can't even get my fingers through my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I washed my hair like seven, eight times. Until it fell out? Finally, it was like, dude, I got to cut my hair off. This stuff is not coming out. <laughs> I thought I was so clever making fun of him and spoofing his mustache and dyeing my hair black. And what happens in the end? I end up having to shave my head because of this guy. Fans would have loved this story because you were miserable. That's the story. You are a question wrapped up in a conundrum, sir. Limerick about the epic Brock Lesnar versus Amos match. Amos. I said, oh, my sir, Amos. What did I put down there? You wrote A-M-O-S. Amos. His name is Omos. Omos. Another one of my boo-boos. Triple H wants WrestleMania to be a riot. He said, I know. Brock will face Bray Wyatt. But Lesnar said, no way. Hunter said, okay. Instead, you now get the, dr oh, the ah! green. Ah. Instead, you now get the green giant. <laughs> You are almost as bad as reading these as Vinny, <laughs> which, does, which does help. Omos will painfully lurch for the remote I will search. Match will be so bad, it'll make us so sad, I'd rather hear a fart in church. <laughs> <laughs> Granny liked that one. That's a good one. Granny, let's do the uh, wrestling report. I don't want to. <clears throat> Morgan versus Ripley. Man, that video of Liv Morgan at the basketball game and that dude's trying to talk oh, to yeah. her. David's father had three sons. Snap, Google, and blank. Snap, crackle, and blank. <laughs> what? We did have a period where children raced to the barricade to have their mm -hmm. faces licked by the fucking bushwhackers. If MGF did that today... That'd be trouble, right? Only if he threw vodka on him and licked him and then a lime and then a little sugar. I think Vince watches this show every week. Excuse and he me. follows along. He goes into the archives. He watches the Retro Raw. He follows along with us. Okay. And he was watching this show and he saw old Burt Reynolds. And he thought, that's what I need is a oh, mustache. Okay. Man, he saw Ron and Sheer marking out for this guy. And he was like, that's the secret, a mustache. And he went out and got a blonde with big boobs. I don't know about that one. Oh. Sammy Guevara's tongue tried to do a run-in. Jericho got a bat shot. But Excuse me, his tongue did a run-in? Remember when AEW didn't have trios and titles? That sucked. Having these belts around is much, much better. You know what I've never seen in a wrestling match before? Is blood spatter on the forker as the forked is exploding blood all over the place? I have never seen that before. I was okay having not seen that before. You know what these two guys are? Crazy motherfuckers. These are batshit nuts lunatics. Absolute lunatics. Yes. So Wardlow got a new singlet. It's glittery. It shows a lot of leg. And in fact, by the end, we're just showing ass. I'm not a fan of the singlet. And if, this, if they stole this singlet when they broke into his car, that's a net win. By the end of this, I was wondering if this is my favorite match I've seen in any promotion at any time in my life. Perfection! Absolute abject perfection. 
What a great match. What an absolutely great match. Loved it with all my heart. Literally can't say enough great things about it. I may watch it again tomorrow, and it was over an hour. MJF's fucking entrance with an orchestra playing his fucking song. Yeah. That was unbelievable. But the match was so fucking great that nobody remembers the orchestra. I like when she buried the neckbeard fans and the guy in the second row stood up and pointed to his neck to indicate he had no neckbeard. The fuck is a neckbeard? It's when you go this part. I know, but like, what, is it, what does that even you're mean? You're such a loser. You don't bother to shave your you're, neck. You're such a loser. You're so lazy. So if you're a winner, you have a beard, but you shave the neck part. And if you're a loser, or, or you're you clean, don't shave the neck part. Or you're clean shaven. Jungle Boy is now 25 years old. He's a jungle man. You know, Darby's almost 30 and Ricky Starks, I think it's like 32. It's time to get these dudes going. They've gone with Max, but like he's the only one. Everyone else is still in the Young Lions phase. And Sky Blue is deep in female Young Lions stage. Next week, it's March 15th, his birthday. So he's going to go into wretched Winnipeg, Canada to enjoy his rebar mitzvah. Don't exactly know how that works. Maybe it's just a bar mitzvah with a rebar sticking everywhere. I don't know. What? I made that up. I know. You're an idiot. They're in Canada next week. She op- she's an open challenge to any Canadian woman to face her for the TBS. So style. the only Canadian woman they have under contract is the bunny. All right. Who was injured. I don't know who it's going to be. Celine Dion. You know, it's not going to be Celine Dion, Vinny. So in conjunction with Sazam Fury of the Gods, we're going to rename it the international title. John Moxley may be indestructible. He had the death match and it's coming out here. It's just another Wednesday. He's fine. I was not expecting QT out there, but hey, as long as Hobbs goes out there and beats the shit out of people every week, I don't give a fuck. This guy, there's another one. I've been I've been asking for this one for a long time. It's fucking time. Lyra Valkyria cut a very wacky promo, and then she closes it by saying, I only travel as the crow flies. <laughs> Straight to the top. That's not what the crow does. Have you ever seen a crow? We were at the Kennedy Space Center or whatever, and uh, these fucking crows would hang around the eating area, and I swear on a stack of Bibles, like, one crow would, would like, come down near near Han Lake, like, sit next to her on the bench, and so she's like, shoo, crow, get the fuck out of here, crow. She practically says that now. And so then, you know, we all go to shoo the crow, and as we're shooing the crow, this other crow fucking flies down, dive bombs french fries and is gone like right off the fucking plate like one crow ran distraction for the other fucking crow crows are smart fuck me i know i don't like them the new video game apparently has a 2001 ovw pack if they go all the way with this with like the machine and damage and conway and dinsmore and trash and flash and rico and kenny bowen and mm and heartbreakers me and like four other people are gonna buy it for sure if the worst thing to ever happen to wrestling fans is steve austin saying what the best thing that ever happened to wrestling fans is deciding that we should all sing along with every song that has words. Even he's laughing. <laughs> Nobody ever sang his fucking song. They're doing it now. Alba Fire and I, the Dawn, are performing a full moon ritual. Our reflections show that I'm as vicious as the animal that hatched from the moon. Or, what? Or something. I, I, I swear what to God. What fucking animal hatched from the goddamn moon? I swear to God, that's close I to what I thought the said. moon was made of cheese. Tonight, we march for It's not. If you fucking went to the moon and you stepped out of that space shuttle and you found out that fucking place was made of cheese, you ain't telling nobody that. Because that really fuck you up, you know? <laughs> and then the Shawn Michaels tribute show continues. Roxanne collapses after the match. This is now like the Shawn Michaels greatest hits show. It's like we had the barber shop. Now we have collapsing. Somebody's got to lose their smile. Well, a lot of great wrestling we saw this week, everybody. 